Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord. I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want to thank God Almighty once again for giving me this golden opportunity to come to your way. Hallelujah. Here is a platform where we hear the word of God. Remember the word of God is here as many that want to stick to the word of God. The Bible says that they will always continue coming out with a testimony. Whether a thousand will fall at their right hand side or ten thousand at their left hand side, left hand side, I beg your pardon. The Bible said it will never come like that. Hallelujah, somebody. Because God Almighty said he's with us. Two, four, seven. Hallelujah, somebody. But before we go for the word of God, let us pray. Everlasting King of glory, eternal rock of ages. The omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the omniscience God, the lion of the tribe of Judah, Father, once again, your word is about to come. King of glory, breath on your word. Use your word. For as many that will luckily turn to this, you know, station, that they will be watching me from, whether from YouTube, whether from Facebook, whether from WhatsApp, wherever they will watch me from. Father, let this word make them to testify to the glory of God. And every spirit of devourer, I silence them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take all the glory, take all the adoration. For in Jesus' almighty name, I have prayed, amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in Lord, the person you are seeing here is Mrs. Evangelist Egon. I want you to please help me to share my video, to help me to like, to help me to subscribe. And as you are doing, my God, I have said it before, whether a thousand will fall at your right hand side, ten thousand here. God is always with you. No, those things will come near you. They will be defeated. They will be under your feet because you are a partaker to these blessings of God. You are doing the work of God by so doing, by sharing. And that by me, you are inviting the presence of God upon your life. Beloved brothers and sisters, one word of God is enough for the wife. Hallelujah, somebody. And today I want to deliberate on the subject which I tie to the power of choice. The power of choice. Hallelujah. Amen. Quickly, before we go, let me read the scripture here in the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 24. Verse 15. Hallelujah, somebody. Remember, I'm using, look at the, the, the Bible I'm using. Did you see it? Holy Bible. Hallelujah, somebody. NIV. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to read the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. Amen. The Bible said, or let me start from verse 14. It says that, now fear the Lord and serve him with all fulfillment, for faithfulness, I beg your pardon. Throw away the gods your ancestors worship beyond the Ephrathites, rivers and the Egypt and serve the Lord. But if, that is where I want you to listen to, the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods your ancestors serve beyond the Ephrathites or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, that is Joshua speaking, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Joshua was talking to his people in his days. This time around, the Bible said he was old and he gathered. If you read back, you will see where Joshua gathered all his people. And he was telling them that he has a few, you know, time to live here on earth. But he wanted them to know that anything that you are doing without Christ is always full of crisis. He let them know. He spoke to them vividly with calmness in order for them to be convinced and have a choice of whom they will serve. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, as a child of God, we know serving God has principles, has constitution to follow. That is why Joshua said, who these days are you going to serve? In other words, those that said they are children of God, most of us are still using hand to draw other things, serving other idols, sending money for our mothers, grandmothers, friends, searching for native daughters. 
Some of us, we are worshipping idols. We worship material things. Amen. We have so many characters, I'm not exempted, that we are nothing. In other words, we are worshipping them. We cherish them. So Joshua came out to tell his people. They were serving God. They were going to church quite right. But he saw many of us that said we are serving God. Yes! We are doing all that things, missing it. It's a choice. That is why Joshua came to ask me today through this book of Joshua chapter 25 from verse 14 down there to 15. Whom these days are you going to serve? Are you going to serve God Almighty? The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and other things will follow. Are you going to serve God Almighty or you want to serve other things? I don't know. This is your choice. Because when you are serving God with faith and, you know, hope, I don't think you will lack anything. Though the book of Ecclesiastes said things are in season. Maybe you are looking for something you have not seen. Does not mean God is not on your side. That the presence of God is not overwhelming you. Yes. It's a questionable God. He has everything doing it by his own time. Amen. So I need that for you. The power of choices. Hallelujah. As we move on, you will see those who start to choose God, how God stood for them. Those who choose to, to serve Juju, to make other things number one in their scale of preference, you will see how the God rewarded them. Beloved brothers and sisters, I'm here this hour to use this word of God once again to encourage you, to draw you close to your God. We should not serve any other God. Miss it with serving God. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 8, says, I am a jealous God. Do not serve other things with me. Don't miss other things and say you are still serving me. The Bible says also in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, from verse 16 down, it said the power of God will leave you. We saw an example, many occasions of Samson. When he meets with Delilah, as somebody who is serving God, you have to be holy like our God. Not to talk of you are a choosy one. God brought you out of that sin to his own likeness. You should be in the likeness of God. If not, the presence of God will leave you. The presence of God left us. The presence of God left Saul. I said it before. The presence of God left Adam and Eve. God drove them out of the garden. Beloved brothers and sisters, the year is almost coming to an end. What will you choose or what will, will you be remembered for as a child of God? Will God be, heaven be proud of you to say, oh, this is my beloved son. This is my beloved daughter. In whom I am well pleased. Beloved brothers and sisters, you have to choose God. Put God in number one in your scale of preference. The power of choice. When you choose God first, no matter the storm, no matter what, God is coming to bring you out from that. You know, from that predicament. I know sometimes we are not prayerful. There are constitutions we have to follow also when we choose to serve God. Somebody might question me now as he's watching me. Oh, I've been serving God. This thing happened. I did not see God. Did you examine yourself? Are you prayerful? When you are prayerful, you will win. When you are prayerless, the enemy will use that as an opportunity. Doors of, you know, evil door, doors will open for those enemy to come and intrude you. But as you are watching me right now, I decree and I declare that it will never be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Loopholes will never open for enemy to come to your vineyard, to toil in your environment, to toil in your marriage, or in your finance, or in your children, or in your heads. Hallelujah, somebody. The power of choice. You have to choose these days whom you are going to serve. Let's quickly see the book of the same Joshua, chapter 1, from verses 9. I mean, I beg your pardon. 7 to 9. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of God is here. Amen. People don't want to hear the word of God any longer. They want to do it smart and yet they call themselves child of God. They are not saying, oh, God will do it at his own time. God will do it now. If God is going to do it two years' time, the Holy Spirit will minister to you as somebody that is in the Spirit. And he will give you that spirit of patience. 
perseverance to wait on that time. Hallelujah, somebody. Whatever God is going to do, he must surely let you know. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. I want to read the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 79. Listen and be blessed in Jesus. He said, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the laws my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. Just be listening. That you may be successful. Did you hear that? Whatever, wherever you go. <laughs> Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. So that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous. Hallelujah. Courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. If you can read more there. Joshua chapter 1 verses 7 to 9. That is where I just read. He said, do not turn to left or to right. In other words, use exactly like some people. Some minister will come out. I'm not judging them. I don't know where they see all those things from. Like I see on YouTube, they will be matching people. Some will be sucking people's bread. Some will be eating feed. I don't know where they get it from. Anything that is not in this scripture, I will not be a partaker of it. The Bible already said it in the book of Joshua chapter 1 from verse 7. When you are serving God, don't add to it. Don't subtract from it. Don't move to your left or to your right. Go straight forward to the word of God. Amen. I know sometimes we are falling, but we should realize that we are falling so that we can come back to our feet. The Bible also let us know in the book of Revelation. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Beloved brothers and sisters, we are deliberating on the subject, which I titled The Power of Choice. Your choice, the way you choose to live your life as a saying that the way you spread your bed is how you are going to learn it. Many people today, they say they are a child of God. If I want to expatiate it to another level, we are so lazy. We are saying, God, we are looking at you. You go to church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like I see in Nigeria. Not that we are not serving God, but choose to serve God and tell God to tell you what to do. Mala cannot come from heaven. You cannot be a parasite waiting for somebody to give you. You struggle and be a giver. There is blessing. Give he gives you more than you are an expectant person. Amen. Hallelujah. So you have to choose on how to serve your God. Apostle Paul in the Bible, everybody knows when you study the, 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 the area Apostle Paul wrote in the Bible. The Bible lets us know that he was facing tents. Those days, you know, they are using tents. That was his job. Wherever he goes, the Holy Spirit takes him to. He always sees job to do. As you are watching me, Whatever you have fine to do, the Bible says, do it with all your heart. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 9. As a child of God, are you a gluten? Are you the lazy type? Are you a parasite? Choose of what to do when you are serving God. It comprises so many things. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Beloved brothers and sisters, one word of God is enough for the white ones. I am here to use this little exhortation to encourage us. Are you going to choose the God of the Amorites, the God of the Egypt, the Juju people? Many people will come up to say, eh, our ancestors, when we serve our ancestors, you that is saying, when we, we follow the ways, the ways of our ancestors is the best. Those days, even when the white people have not come to introduce this Bible to us, our ancestors were having fear. I was growing those days. I would see they would put sand on the ground, put something like a, a, a small tiny cake. Uh, they paint it with white. They put a, a big chalk. They are so respectful, having fear. When they pray with that white chalk, they don't go and sleep with somebody's wife. They don't lie on people's head. They don't bear face witness. That's what I mean. In one word. Hallelujah. They don't steal. They don't hurt people. There are so many characters today we are exhibiting in the body of Christ, which is not so supposed to be so. Beloved brothers and sisters, choose this day 
whom you will serve. The power of choice is what we are deliberating on. If you are a child of God, be that illumination, the reflection. As you know God, all things are passed away. Behold, everything has become new. Let people see you, see that character of Christ in you. In, in the, I think uh, in uh, which city is it? Ephesus or so, where the children of God we are called Christians. If it is not Ephesus, I beg your pardon. A place in the Bible where people saw the children of God, those who were doing the work of God, they now named them Christ like Christians. It was not Jesus that gave them. It was people who saw their good work. They now called them Christians. We have nine fruit of the Spirit. Which category did you belong to? You are categorized to. Let us be realistic. Don't just say, me, myself, and I. You are serving God. There is no change. The presence of God is not seeing you. Your way of talking, your character. I know I'm not perfect, but let us try. Beloved brothers and sisters, quickly now, as I'm running up, I will take you to the book of First King, chapter 18. If you read from verse 16 down to the end, you will see a place where Elijah was running away from Ahab because Ahab and Jezebel, they are threatening to kill him. He has, they have killed so many prophets. Fear came up upon the prophet of God. But as he was going, he saw the, the servant of Ahab that was working under them. His, his name is Obadiah. And the guy says, he spoke to the guy, he told the guy, go and call uh, Ahab for me. King Ahab for me. The guy was afraid. Anyway, the area wanted to know when both of them met, Elijah now let them know that apart from God Almighty, all those gods they are serving, they are here, yeah, they are nothing before our God. The 450 Barmeh came with all their juju, they brought them together. Elijah gave them time to work on their God, to call on their God, the way they are using Kotlam, to call their head. Go and study the book of First King chapter 18. Read from verse 16 down. You can read from verse 1 for you to have more understanding. Hallelujah. But the area I want to deliberate on is the power of choice. Those people choose to serve Juju. They have forgotten all God has done for them. So many people today, they are suffering in the Bible. Just like the Bible says. They are dying anyhow. They are walking corpses. God is paying a death here to them because their ways is far different from that of God. Anyway, the prophet of Baal, 450, they brought out all their Baal, they sang, they do so many sacrifices. The Baal did not answer them. Until day afternoon, 3 o'clock. But when Elijah prepared an altar, putting water and many things to call on the God of heaven, before you know it, fire came and consumed all those things. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, there are so many things that make me to know that He is the only one true God. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, the Bible says, All power, all power, all power in heaven and earth belong to God Almighty. Hallelujah, somebody. I want to let you know that there is no any other name under heaven that man can be saved apart from that name, Jesus. Why can't you see Jesus? Why can't you decide now to serve Jesus? To serve him in spirit and in truth. Because the Bible says those who want to serve him will continue to serve him in spirit and in truth. That is what Jesus told that Samaritan woman in the book of John chapter 4. Beloved brethren, brothers and sisters in the Lord, one word of God is enough for the wise. As you hear this one word of God, I want you to sit down to choose. I know you go to church. We have so many church go up. And also we have believers. We have religious people. Then we have those that are in faith. Hallelujah. Kabosh and Dariyama. We are serving the living God. It's not a dead God. When you are serving him, those qualities of God must be in you. You must be a giver. If you are not a giver, you can be given the word. Because some people have like four gifts. Some have five, some have two, some have one. Are you calling people to ask how they are very? Are you the one counseling people? Are you the one choosing time to say, I create time. It can be in the morning, afternoon, evening. Pray for people without them knowing. 
Let heaven use something to recognize you. You can't just be a child of God. You don't have any qualities in you. The Holy Spirit is not, is not recognizing you. It's not in you. Remember in the book of John chapter 16, Jesus said, until I go, and if I go, another one of my child, kind of my child will come to relax in you. That is the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the three in Trinity. Beloved brothers and sisters, you will see a vibration, a signal when you know God. Who is that demon? Who is that witch? They will come in one way. God will allow them to be coming. God will not stop them for your information. They will continue coming. We who are talking, we see different kind of, you know, dreams. But we are bold. We are cool in boldness. Beloved brothers and sisters, that is the step you have to take. Be bold and courageous. He says in the book of Joshua chapter 1, he said, be bold and courageous. Because the more you go for the world, the more you see demons, you see afflictions. But many are the afflictions of the righteous. In the book of Psalm 34, verse 19, but the Lord delivered all of them from their hope. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 105, verse 15, he said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no hands. Beloved brothers and sisters, one word of God is enough for the wise. As we are rounding up, I pray for you this hour that God Almighty, who has used me to speak this one word of God to you, and as you receive it, I decree and I declare in your life that every yoke in your life will break. Generational cause they will break. Heaven will remove them from you and they will be drawn in the rest sea in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare in your life, as you hear this one word of God, may God arrest you, use it to arrest you and transform you from a nobody to somebody, from a zero to a hero in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare the year is coming to an end. You will testify to the glory of God. Enemy will see you, they will flee because the Bible says that the wicked, the runner, when nothing pursued them. The fire of God that will be upon you because the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, it says every yoke is broken because of the anointing. I declare and I declare because you are interested now, you have changed your mind, decided to serve God alone. Don't miss it with other things. That anointing will come upon you. Every yoke of death is still is and destroyed. They will be broken out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace as you pray the help of God Almighty. Receive the grace to do as for the purpose of God in your life. And you will come out always with a testimony. Those who are in your environment, hallelujah, somebody, the glory of God will also shine on them because you are a carrier of that light of illumination, ability to see a, a beyond human expectation. That is what I decree for you. As you choose to serve God, as you now decide to serve God in spirit and in truth. For in Jesus' almighty name, I have prayed. I'm rounding up, beloved, I have still beseech you once again to please help me to share, to like, and as you do, you will continue to see the glory of God. Until I call your way next time, I say keep on bouncing the Lord. For in Jesus' almighty name, I pray, amen. In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow.